Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and this is Five Fast Knife Reviews of Finch Knives. So, thank you to Lefty EDC for sending me these knives. They are from his collection. And I really appreciate it because I got to try out uh, five different knives from Finch, from you know Finch's Knives um, catalog. So, that's very awesome. So, this one is the Cimarron, which... You know, me just looking at this knife online, I wouldn't have thought it was as awesome as it is. This thing, the action is ridiculous on all the Finch knives. They're, the action is just, it's amazing how well-tuned the detents are on these. I, I'm just, I'm fascinated with that. Now, this one has a titanium pocket clip that does work extremely well in and out of the pocket. And then we have multicolored G10. So we have layered G10, which is pretty cool. Then we have a glass uh crystal sorry crystal uh shield covering right here now this is also this glows in the dark we'll show that here in a second but it does it glows in the dark which is pretty cool or sorry not glows in the dark it illuminates it illuminates when you put a bright light on there it glows so you can't see it unless if you do that then we have the 14c 28n blade steel i love that steel and then we have almost a straight back but it is a drop point blade um pretty robust grind that might possibly be my one complaint aside from t6s i don't like t6s i'd rather see t8s but this is a very robust blade i mean you can see how thick it is so it's definitely a knife you're not gonna have to worry about uh breaking or anything like that you know i guess if unless you do really crazy stuff but I mean, if you lay back the angle of the edge, it should, you know, it does cut. It cuts okay, but it definitely could use an edge. It's not very sharp right now. So, you know, probably uh, that would have improved its cutting performance for me, but it is a little robust in the grind. Not really thin behind the edge. It is pretty thick behind the edge, but the ergos are very comfortable. It does have neutral ergos, which you guys know I love. A little bit of jimping on the spine, and you have a nice little place to put your finger if you really want to, especially for like that fine detail work, you know. If you know, I like having a little spot right there for my finger. But if you want to be protected from sliding up the blade, this does add a little bit of a you know a stoppage right there. The liner, easy to access, and the drop is very smooth incredibly smooth like i said the action on all of these is just insane nice and centered the blade to handle ratio is a little off in my opinion not that big of a deal but you see how much shorter the blade is from the handle but all, all in all awesome awesome knife let's get to the next one so the next one is another unique knife i mean this thing I think it's cool. It's very cool. Now, this one is the Takuna. Now, the Takuna has also a titanium milled pocket clip that also works pretty good. Steel liners, and we have like a rock pattern G10. All of them have the shield with the crystal um, covering. Now, this one does have T8s, which is very cool. I'm happy to see that. Um, the clip is T6s, I do believe, though. No, oh, maybe there are T8s on the clip of this one. Regardless, um, T8s for the body screws at the very least. Now, the grind on this is actually pretty thin behind the edge. It is a straight back, big bellied knife, and it's pretty cool. I kind of like the grind on this. Now, this one's going to cut pretty doggone good for regular slicing and push cuts. You have amazing ergos on this thing. Just the height of the handle and the width of the handle in my hand personally i tend to cover the the flipper tab it's very comfortable and when you lock in your your uh thumb and pinky together or sorry thumb and pointer finger together right there really goes for good slicing and push cuts and good pinch grips now utility cuts are not gonna happen <laughs> it's not a utility cutting knife you'd have to raise your arm way up high it's just you, you're not gonna do that maybe if the object is directly in front of you like this you can maybe go like that you know like for say getting the the side of boxes with 
um, the tape on the side of boxes. But all in all, you're going to be using this portion of the blade, the belly. So if you like bellies, this thing has a belly for days. Now the action, again, very good. It's not as false shut as the other one, but it's very, very smooth. The flipper tab is way higher than the center of the pivot, which makes for incredible flipping action. Now the liner on this is easy to get to. Let's see if we can get it to come up. And it does have a little chamfer on the side of it so you can reach it. And then the detent ball is pretty early, but you don't have a flipper tab to hit. So when you unlock it, you're gonna have to let that flipper tab go past your finger like that and let the blade get you. Or, you know, just uh, block it with your finger. Not an issue. Very smooth. You can do an easy slap shut. Just one little uh, pop of the wrist like this. Slap it right shut. And then when you open it, you see the jimping on top. You, this The jimping that's on the front acts as a nice little spot for your fingers. So very comfortable. Very cool. I, I like it, man. I like it. Definitely. Now... A scandy grind would have been really cool on this, uh, but it is just a regular flat ground blade that's pretty awesome. So let's get to the next one. Oh, sorry, the steel is 154CM. Awesome steel. I prefer the 14C28N, but 154CM, a lot of people like that more than 14C, so I guess it just depends on your preference. Next, we have another little unique finch. This is the Rutley. The Rutley has... Again, titanium milled pocket clip that works very, very well. Easy access to the liner. And this thing is so smooth for its blade. It does, almost doesn't even make sense how smooth it is. And you have a little nail nick that you can easily reverse flick. So reverse flicking action is really good. You do have the detent ball that this tends to land on right there. But you can push past it a little bit it is a little weird you kind of got to like hold really low on the flipper tab if you want to get past it like that so really all in all you kind of just go like this push past it and then get it past with your finger then flip it around and let it drop so you do get a little detent lash right there but the flipping action is so good on this little guy and the revert i almost wish that they didn't even put the flipper tab on there, even though it's really good, because the reverse flicking action is so good. Now, when you do deploy it very easily with the reverse flick, same thing like the last knife where you have the little jimping on the flipper tab, you can really lock in right there. Feels really good. You can rotate it in your hand really quick to open things up. Now, this one does have a downward tip, so opening things up, utility cuts, the sides of boxes, tops of boxes. This thing's gonna be very versatile in that way where it's gonna be very easy to grip and use. Now, just getting like in a push um, a push cutting grip, the, the handle is big enough to where you can get a full four finger grip as long as you cover the flipper tab. So it's gonna be really nice and comfortable for push cuts and like I said, pinch grips. It's just a cool little knife that's gonna be super useful. See that I was trying to ring finger it, which is easy. <laughs> but yeah, it's gonna work really good. Beautiful stone washing and a satin finish on the flats. Beautiful, beautiful stone washing. So this thing's pretty awesome. I, I, I like it. It's definitely unique. Left-handers can definitely reverse flick it too. 14, or sorry, 154 CM once again. So awesome, awesome steel. So yeah, these things are pretty cool. Now, next. Next is the Holiday. The Holiday is a very old school meets new school kind of uh, tradition, modern traditional knife. I love that. And the flipping action is so good. So good. And on this one, you're past the detent. No detent lash. Lock bar access is very, very comfortable. Right there is the detent, but you can easily get past it. And it's basically drop, it's drop shutty. I wouldn't call it fall shut but it's so close to it. It is drop shutty where you just barely give it a couple little shakes and it'll fall all the way shut. If you give it any influence at all, it's going all the way. And the detent feels light on it, but it's just very well tuned because it's 
it's so easy to deploy with this flipper tab. It's crazy. We have some more 154 CM with a what looks like a hand satin finish. You see how the satin finish goes this direction? So that's really nice looking. Beautiful worn cliff blade that is nice and slicey. Gets down to a good thickness. Very acute. Very appropriate for this size knife and nice utility cuts. You're going to get good slicing with this. The ergos are fantastic. The clip works great in and out of the pocket. Um, you do have two screws holding it together, so you're not going to get any shift from it. And then we have this beautiful snake wood. Now, we'll take a look at the the pivot or sorry the the shield really quick and see how it glows now you'll see right here once i release it how it glows so that's pretty cool this light isn't the most powerful otherwise it would be even brighter but very very cool and then the snake wood is beautiful very exotic wood now there's other kinds of materials you can get on this so it is interchangeable well not interchangeable but you can buy it with a different uh material I believe micarta and possibly another material. This thing is so smooth. The satin finish on the, the stainless steel is really beautiful. And I did hear they're possibly thinking about doing some titanium versions. Or maybe not. Maybe not. I forget. I did do a live with Finch Knives on uh, Knife Junkie Podcast. And he was saying something about the future of some of these knives. But I forget. I can't remember if he said he wasn't thinking about doing titanium models or if he was. But anyways... These things are amazing. Like I said, great ergos, great flipping action, great cutting performance, good steel, good materials all the way around. And now, last but not least, we got the Finch model 1929. Again, we have that beautiful hand satin finish that looks so good on this clip point, big bellied blade. It's almost like a spay point, but it is a clip point not a buoy, but a big belly clip point blade. That's what we'll call it. Very awesome. You could, you got like the size of a knife where you can get your finger all the way up to the tip where if you did want to do fine detail work, you could. But it is belly for days, so you're mostly going to be slicing with it. Lock bar access is really generous. The flipping action is insane. And again, again, this action is just incredible on these little guys. Um, this one has the green micarta, which is very cool. Um, I do like this micarta. Very nice. It's not like the real furry stuff. It is a, a more slicker. If you listen, you can see how it's really slick, but very nice still very nice in the hand steel liners, beautiful lockup on all of these. All of these were rock solid, but look at the access to the lock bar. I like that. I like having good access. And the detent is nice and early on this one. So you're always past the detent. I love that about this one. So incredibly smooth. And then you can hear it when it clicks back in the detent. Very nice acoustics on this little guy. Even on the flipping action. Very, very nice acoustics. Now, on the Ergos, it is very comfortable. It has the teardrop handle shape, so pinch grips right here where you pinch it into your palm. It's going to be nice and comfortable. Push cut grips are going to be nice and comfortable. Basically, every type of cutting grip is going to be really nice. Even if you're behind the flipper tab right here, you know, yeah, it's a three-finger grip, but because your, fing your thumb's in a nice place and your pointer finger, this pinch right here, you're really locked in, really solid. So cutting with this thing's going to be good. It does get down to a nice thin edge, um, and you do have a nice tall flat grind. So very, very nice. Very, very nice. I would love to see these done in titanium. I think that would be just amazing. And I love how they're using the modern traditional look while also keeping modern materials. I just love that. Oh man, that sound. Amazing, amazing knives. Um, I, I definitely need to get some of my own because these things are just cool. And you want to talk about some really cool gift knives for an uncle or a grandpa or a cousin or something like that. These things are amazing. So there you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.